Dylan Dreyer shares impressive video of two-year-old son Rusty's milestone achievement. Dylan Dreyer's youngest son recently picked up a new skill, according to a video the meteorologist shared with her social media followers on Saturday, July 27. The Today Show co-host often provides sweet updates from her family of five with fans on Instagram. Her latest post starred her son Rusty, who will turn three in September. In the video, the toddler was seated at the edge of a table in front of a few bites of food that had been placed on the white plate in front of him. He clutched a pair of chopsticks in his right hand, using them to carefully move the food closer to the edge of the plate before collecting a bite of food and transferring it to his mouth. He did so successfully, and flashed the camera a delighted expression of victory as he chewed the food and wordlessly celebrated the accomplishment. Westy crushing his first try with chopsticks, Dreyer42, wrote excitedly in her Instagram caption, People in the background of the video could also be seen and heard cheering at Rusty's milestone achievement. Several of the TV personalities' Instagram followers applauded the two-year-old's mad skills in the comments section, with some admitting that he had done better than they could. Way to go, Rusty, one fan wrote. He handled that better than I would do. One person said as another shared they are 61 and still can't operate chopsticks, he's adorable. One Instagram user joked that the chopsticks looked like drumsticks in the toddler's small hands, as another wondered, how did Rusty grow up this fast? He was just a baby. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you for sharing your adorable boys with us. One person wrote, adding they have enjoyed watching them grow up. Dreyer and her husband, Brian Fichera, welcomed their youngest son into their family in September 2021. The couple also share sons Calvin, 7, and Oliver, 4. Dylan Dreyer's plain photo stirs up intense debate amongst fans. What is wrong with everyone? Dylan Dreyer often shares photos of herself and her family when she's not gracing the screen of today. However, seemingly innocent snaps the weather correspondent recently shared stirred up an intense debate among fans. On Saturday, July 20, Dreyer took to Instagram with photos of herself, her husband, Brian Fichera, and their three kids on a flight together. The main image showed Dreyer sitting in a plane seat with their youngest son, Russell, almost two, on her lap. Their other sons, Calvin, seven, and Oliver, four, seemingly sat by Dreyer, although only one of their heads was visible past their mom. Meanwhile, the second snap of the carousel showed Fichera on the opposite side of the aisle, alone in his row and with his legs comfortably spread out on the other seats. Dreyer captioned her update simply by writing, hashtag Delta Comfort. In the comments, some Instagram users received Dreyer's sentiment as intended. One wrote, that checks. Mom has all the kids, dad gets a row to himself. Just kidding, have fun safe travels. Another fan echoed, cause mom is always the preferred method of travel. However, one person snarked, let's stop pretending you're not flying first class seriously. Someone else replied, why would you think Dylan is pretending to be in coach? While another joked, yip. Booted people from two rows just for the post. Nailed it. Related. Fans very disappointed after Dylan Dreyer shouts out controversial celebrity. One peacemaker implored. Why so mean everybody? Can we get back to just rooting for each other? These two seem to be very nice people. They have a lovely family and they aren't trying to scam anyone. What is wrong with everyone? A similarly minded commenter shared, Perception and jealousy is everything. I didn't think twice about her sitting in coach or first class. I saw a family going on a vacation. They added, What I found amusing and relatable was the fact that all the kids are sitting with the mom and dad is relaxing all by himself. Because if you have kids, you know this is exactly what happens. The rest of you people with all your judgment need to do some serious internal reflection.